Welcome to the city and the Lascaris War Rooms and the Air Museum in Malta. The Lascaris War Rooms are located 150 feet under the Upper Braca Gardens and they are classed as Malta's best kept secret. During the war, every single person who worked here had to be kept in secrecy to the point where the girls who were local who worked there had to use a secret entrance in and out in order to keep their work a complete secret and it wasn't actually revealed to the public until the 1960s so it's definitely a very secretive place. It was kept in disrepair and is now a privately run museum. It's not funded by the government at all, or at least by Heritage Malta. So, um, obviously, please take your time to go and have a look. It's definitely worth the admission price because it's a fantastic piece of uh, not just Maltese history, but the Allied's history during uh, World War II as well. Because it was actually used by uh, General Eisenhower, Supreme Commanders Admiral Cunningham, Field Marshal Montgomery and Air Marshal Tadda as part of the Allied uh, HQ for Operation Husky, which was the invasion of Sicily, which ultimately led to the defeat of the uh, Italians during World War II. And as you can see from this map, it never appeared in the German bombing plan. So then I took the time to visit the Air Museum World and as you can see, I did get to have a seat in the actual Spitfire there, which was a fantastic experience. So the Air Museum itself is quite small, uh, but don't let that put you off, it just means instead of spending a full day at the museum, you'll probably spend an hour or two. I think I spent about an hour and a half there. As you can see, it does have a Spitfire and a Hurricane, amongst a collection of other aircraft as well. Most of these are either RAF aircraft, or ones that have been donated by the Italian Air Force, or from the armed forces of Malta itself. Just so you're aware, buses run every hour from outside of the museum, so do take the time to plan your visit. If you are going on some certain days, there's not really too much else to do around the area. Uh, we actually found that everything was shut in the facility uh, when we were there, so we ended up just waiting for our bus, but luckily there were things flying in for the air show, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, so as you can see, there's things like a Fiat GR91, which was fantastic, a T6 Hexen, um, a DC3, Gloucester Meteors, there's actually two of them there, and then there's some uh, aircraft from the Armed Forces of Malta, which is also fabulous to see. Um, things you're not really going to see anywhere else, um, or at least in these uh, colours anyway. So I definitely recommend you have a look at the museum. Uh, as I said, it's not the biggest museum in the world, it won't take up a whole day, uh, but it's only about a half an hour, 40 minutes bus journey from the centre of Valletta, so it's really, really easy to get to, and it's just definitely worth your time to see a museum that's slightly different. It's a lot of character and just has a fairly unique collection, I think.